Hi, we're talking with Verdi Gilbertson. He was in the Hondas Division in, in um, France back in 1944 with the infantry. We're looking at a map of Bitch. So why don't you tell us about a little about this? Was about 71 years ago when you were there. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Uh, this was the area around in France around the Bitch. It was the French pronounced the Biche that uh, our 100th Division was assigned to clear that area, which was heavily defended by the Germans. And uh, what we're noticing, you see the contour lines, which are close together, they call them contour lines. That shows the elevation and the valleys and the ridges and everything. So you can see how rugged the area was for each one of these high points. That's what there was. It's a very rugged area with with um, with hills and valleys and deep ravines and everything. And this was the area we were assigned to clear, and it was heavily defended by the Germans. It was a strong point. It was a strategic strategic area, and. Uh, these are grid lines on the map. It shows uh, the elevations, and that's how they determine the areas that uh, our objective they were assigned. It might be a number of a uh, hill numbers, 341 or so. They would assign the area to different uh, infantry companies. This is the area that you're assigned to clear, and. Uh, uh, one of the most uh, heavily defended places was a small town named Lemberg, which was very heavily defended. So um, they uh, had a really quite a time clearing that. And I got this map from one of the uh, members of my Fox company. His name is Darkweather, and he sent me this map. And uh, to uh, show us, show me some of the areas that we were uh, active in during that time. So we thank Bertie Gilbertson and the members of the 100th Division for liberating the town of Bitch, 71 years ago today or yesterday. Yeah, that was March. Uh, 16th, 17th? Uh, the area when we were on, uh, during the time that uh, this was going uh, taking place was uh, between, there were three days there that were, we were re very active. And that was from uh, March 7th to the March 9th. That oh, in Lambert. Area. It was three days it took to clear uh, the town of Lemberg, and there was, uh, and the, uh, our assignment was, the objective was, there's a highway, and so on, on March 15th, we jumped off to attack the area around Bitch. And that took uh, about two or three days when it was heavily, it was very heavily fortified. And it's a, a German strong point. And it took about three days there of uh, very active. And you were the yeah. first, you were the first uh, army to ever do that, right? Yeah, that was the first army in the history of uh, a bit. We had all these fortifications, like part of the Maginot Line was there, uh -huh. and uh, it had been tried many times over the years to try to uh, to breach those that area of different armies from different countries, but they had never been able to do it until the 100th Division came in, and so we were kind of uh, got the uh, broke the record there to uh, finally uh, clear that area.
So they they give you any name or anything for doing that? They yeah, the division got a name for doing that, and uh, they call them the Sons of Bitch, <laughs> which was appropriate name. <laughs> Uh, like I said, the French pronunciation was Bichet. <laughs> but of course, the GIs called it Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how we got the name of the division. was known after that, and it's still known for that, as uh, Sons of Bitch. Okay. And uh, I think even Bob Hope was an honorary member of our division. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, and thanks You're all welcome. the 100th Division.